Today we're talking about Mycoplasma pneumoniae, the bacteria, as well as walking pneumonia, the condition. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'm going to explain how they're connected and what they are. Now, Mycoplasma pneumoniae is a bacteria that can cause respiratory infections. In particular, it can cause like a chest cold, but it can also cause pneumonia in some people. Now, these mycoplasma pneumonia infections can occur at any age, but oftentimes they occur in children and adolescents, like 5 to 17 years of age and young adults as well. Now, the thing about it is oftentimes these infections are relatively mild. Remember, I said mycoplasma pneumoniae, the bacteria can cause chest colds less commonly, but still uh, pneumonia as well. Now, this is what brings me to walking pneumonia. Now, what is walking pneumonia, you say? Well, walking pneumonia, oftentimes we think about it as a pneumonia caused by the bacteria Mycoplasma pneumoniae, but it technically can be caused by many bacteria virus. But walking pneumonia is typically a less severe form of bacterial pneumonia, and that's why we call it walking pneumonia. People are out there walking around. Well, maybe not necessarily walking around, but they're, they're not necessarily at home in bed just sort of really, really, ooh, okay? This is why the term walking pneumonia was coined. And as I mentioned before, mycoplasma pneumoniae, uh, the bacteria, is a common cause of walking pneumonia because often when it causes pneumonia, it tends to be a little bit less severe than some others, and thus uh, we refer to it as walking pneumonia. Although, yes, other bacteria and viruses can cause a walking pneumonia. Okay, now this is what you need to know, okay? Uh, mycoplasma pneumoniae, the bacteria, tends to be spread the way a lot of respiratory things are spread, right? Respiratory droplets. So when an infected person coughs or sneezes and like blah, you know, touches you or whatever, other people can get that, which is why hand washing and hand hygiene and all that stuff is so, so, so important. Um, but now let's go to some of the symptoms that you can get, right? Because I said mycoplasma pneumonia can cause chest cold symptoms, but also pneumonia, like a walking pneumonia. So when we talk about chest cold symptoms, what are we talking about? Well, you're probably going to feel tired and maybe a little fever, headache, uh, cough, cough congestion, okay, maybe a sore throat. Um, remember that children sometimes have slightly different symptoms, especially children under the ages of five. So uh, younger children may actually have gastrointestinal symptoms, diarrhea, uh, stuffy, runny nose, vomiting, etc. So they can have a little bit of a different take on some of these symptoms, maybe even have wheezing, etc. Now when it comes to the pneumonia, okay, I think a lot of people know what symptoms pneumonia is, okay? But remember, with mycoplasma pneumoniae, the bacteria, when it causes pneumonia, often it is sort of a walking pneumonia. People are feeling a little bit better than usual, but still common symptoms are things like cough, feeling tired, fevers or chills, maybe some shortness of breath. Um, and yes, uh, younger children can have slightly different symptoms, okay? Remember that even though um, many people have milder illness in terms of pneumonia than say other forms of pneumonia, this condition can become serious in some. And what's really important with mycoplasma pneumoniae uh, and even walking pneumonia, uh, which it can cause, is that, yeah, it can lead to an asthma flare, severe pneumonia, it can cause complications, but you want to get this evaluated. Why? Because you want to know what it is because there often is some treatment, right? Um, so how do, we, how do we know what it is? Well, there's testing, okay? And remember, when it comes to chest colds, we may not know what the bug is just by looking at a patient. So there's lab tests that we can do and, and swabs to tell, is this mycoplasma pneumoniae or, or something else? And, and it is important to know, I've done videos on this, because when it comes to adults, like knowing that your symptoms are due to COVID may open you up to being able to be treated with um, an antiviral for COVID. Knowing that you have a flu can open us up to be able to treat you for an antiviral for the flu, right? So knowing what's going on and not just saying, oh, it's just a cold, can be very wise. Now, uh, there is swabs and stuff that we often can do, um, especially in certain uh, testing environments, certain uh, like emergency rooms in certain environments, especially with younger kids and things like that. Remember that if there's pneumonia called, caused by mycoplasma pneumoniae, the bacteria, we do have an antibiotic that can treat it. And it is different than the antibiotic that we would probably use normally, right? So again, it's another reason for if your child is affected by this, and I say child because remember I said most commonly happens in young people, adolescents, et cetera. 
But if your child gets sick, call your doctor, get some guidance, that type of thing, okay? Um, so yeah, but just understand that there is testing. Uh, we can do chest x-rays to see if you have the, um, the pneumonia. We can give you treatment if it's warranted, etc. Just know that mycoplasma pneumoniae is a bacteria that can cause chest colds. It can cause pneumonia. When it tends to cause pneumonia, it tends to be of a walking pneumonia type, which means it tends to be a little bit less severe than some other pneumonias that we may see. And other bacteria and viruses can cause other can cause walking pneumonias in and of themselves. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. But that is kind of what walking pneumonia is. Also, what mycoplasma pneumoniae is. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've ever had this. Your child has had this. Uh, please write in the comments. Share this video with other people. I'm Dr. Jen. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, WhatsApp, uh, Instagram, etc. And go to my website, drjencaudle.com, to sign up for my free health newsletter.